Clio? Mr. Truby. Say they found you in office? Such as it is. Good men and women have worked in whatever room was available in this building and have done so without complaint. I don't believe you heard me complain, Mr. Truby. I believe I did, Miss Hayes. Now, why don't you tell me what this is all about? Sir? These people here are trying to do something. I'll have their backs while they're trying. What are you doing here? Serving my country. Why not join the Navy? I was asked to do this. And you said yes? Yes. Why? I feel a sense of duty. I'm sorry? I said I feel a sense of duty. What, did you just walk out of the Pirates of Penzance? Sir? Well, he's an Englishman. He is an Englishman is from HMS Penafore. It's from Penzance. Don't tell me about Gilbert and Sullivan. It's from Penzance or the Iolanthe, one of the ones about duty. They're all about duty. Then it's from Penafore. Miss Hayes. Is it so hard to believe in this day and age that someone would roll up their sleeves, set aside partisanship, and say, what can I do? <laughs> yes. I want you to go up to the hill this afternoon and I want you to talk to the Associate Majority Council of Governmental Affairs. You're sending me to the Majority Council because I speak Republican. Yes. Two staffers in the communications office, Steve Joyce and Mark Brookline. The two you wanted to kill with your cricket bat for screwing up on possession of the Rockland memo. Yes. Read about it, then fix it. I will. And thank you for asking me. Yeah. Mr. Tribby? I'd like to do well on this, my first assignment. Any advice you could give me that might point me the way of success would be, by me, appreciated. Well, not speaking an iambic pentameter might be a step in the right direction. Yeah. The president's way too moderate for your taste. Excuse me? On affirmative action, capital gains, public schools, free trade, you left a lucrative practice in Chicago and a seven-figure income. It wasn't out of duty? Ainsley? Look, can I talk to you for a minute? All of us really trying to say, did this. I don't know. Yes, you do. Don't worry about Who sent it. You this? Don't worry about Ansley? it. Ansley? Sam? How did your meeting end up going with Brooklyn and Joyce? It went great, Sam. I talked to them for a couple of minutes, and I think that... Sam? Did anybody order a pizza, and if they didn't, could they do it now? You know what, guys? When I write something, I sign my name. Here, I'll show you. Sam! You have any idea how big of a harassment suit you just exposed us to? She just... She works here. Which is more than I can say for either one of you. You're fired. S. Seabor. Sam, I don't know who you think you are around here, but you can't fire us. Oh, yes, he can. Leave here and don't ever come back. It's time for both of you to write your book now. Lionel. What are you looking at? I'm nothing. I'm not... nothing. Except it's from Penafore. It's from Penzance. I hate to stick my head in the lion's mouth, but I gotta ask you. Were you the recording secretary of the Princeton Gilbert and Sullivan Society for two years? No, but then again, I'm not a woman, so... I'm just saying... Little drinks I'm supposed to be having right now. Umbrellas sticking out of them. Shish kebab. 